What is up you guys? Welcome to Trev's Kingdom. Today we're going to be doing a quick opening, my first ever Star Wars opening. Book of Boba Fett Season 1. I am so excited about this. I am just going to crack this right open. Um, we're looking for some of the good autos, which are like Ahsoka Tano, um, Cad Bane, the Armorer, um, and of course, Boba Fett himself. So hopefully we can pull something good here. Like I said, I've never opened Star Wars before. I do have some Star Wars cards. Um, I mostly do Pokemon stuff, but I'm a huge Star Wars fan. And I saw these tins, and I just had to get one because I love the actual tin. Uh, Book of Boba Fett was a pretty good show. Um, it has the Mandalorian in it. I really like the Mandalorian, so naturally I went ahead and picked up one of these. So we're going to go ahead and open it right up. And I think it comes with seven packs. Let's see, give me just one second. Okay, so the pack art is like so cool as well. It uh, says Galactic Outlaw. Looks really sick. I'm honestly a little nervous to open this up, but I will definitely be keeping the tin because the tin is really cool. These packs are really cool too. They look really good to so get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs. We're gonna start in the middle. And I'm really excited. Like I said, I. Don't have a ton of like super high expectations. I'm just honestly excited to finally open some of these packs. I've never opened any Star Wars packs. Um, I've definitely watched a ton of Star Wars be opened, and I am a huge Star Wars fan, so I consider myself pretty knowledgeable. I know we're looking for coloreds here, so let's go ahead and start. We got AD8 briefing, interrogating the left droid, concept art card. And hey, the return of Cad Bane, blue, or purple parallel. Don't know if that's numbered. Doesn't look like it. And right off the bat, we got Paul Sun Hyung Lee, the auto. That's our auto. There it is. First pack, we got our auto. It's not numbered. Um, I actually think this guy is also a director. Um, and or producer. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that he did some of the producing of The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett. And he's going to be uh, part of the High Republic. Um, so that's pretty cool. Let me get a sleeve for that. So that's our auto. Um, not Cad Bane. <laughs> um, but that's okay. You know, I was hoping for Cad Bane auto, but... Um, that is all good. I'm just happy to be opening these packs. So we'll put our auto right there. Um, the rest of these, the Armor Exile, very cool. So these are our base cards. We'll put those over there. And then our color parallels, we'll put right there. And then the concept art, we'll put right there. So yeah, there's our auto for the day. So one auto per box, I think. So I think that's going to be our hit of the box. But let's get some numbered cards. What do you guys say? So Duel with Paz Vizsla. That one's cool. He like challenges the Mando for the Darksaber. New allies. There's an insert card. Garza Flip insert. And then a gift for Grogu. That's a cute card. It's like when he makes that little thing, folds it up, gives it to him. Also not numbered. I'm surprised. Mandalorian on the hunt. Grogu's meditation session with Luke. An explosion sanctuary. Very cool. Some pretty cool scenes from the Book of Boba Fett. My personal favorite character in the Book of Boba Fett is uh, probably the Mandalorian, which is funny because he kind of took over the show. The show is supposed to be about this guy. I also really like the Tuscan Raiders. That was like a cool arc of it. Return of Cad Bane. So we got that one in purple, which is kind of cool. Uh, Pike under attack, 
and look at these guys. We got these guys, this insert. Hey, look at that. Grogu's Choice, four of 10. Now that is a hit right there, guys. It's funny, I actually got this card, but the concept art of it out of 25, I ordered it just because it was so cheap. It was like $24. No, no, not even 20. It was $9, literally $9 for the concept art out of 25 and this one's out of 10 so a yellow parallel out of 10 that's i might be more excited about that than the auto honestly like that's that's a sick card grogu's choice out of 10 let's go okay so do we get anything else in that pack uh nope okay so moving on I'll try and keep these Kind of in the shot, but not too much in the shot. Don't want to get too crowded over here. So let's keep these over here. And then the concept art's right there. Okay, so these are our hits so far. Our big hits at least. Out of 10, like Grogu's choice out of 10, that's cool. We might only get one numbered card per box, um, but let's keep finding out. Recovering the back to tank. <laughs> it's a funny card. The Gamorreans meet their new master. Jabba's legacy. Visions from Grogu's troubling past in a blue parallel. That's cool. Very sad though when Grogu has that little flashback. A womp rat. Displaying the power of the Jedi. Cobb Vanth and the Mandalorian, Luke Skywalker, and Grogu in tow. It's crazy how they made Luke look so good. I mean, I know it's CGI, so you can kind of tell it's CGI in some parts, but some parts it's like, it looks so real. If you haven't seen the Book of Boba Fett, um, obviously watch the Mandalorian first. Mandalorian's a little better, but Book of Boba Fett's still great, and they get a little bit of Mandalorian season 2.5 going because the Mando gets this dope ship in it which is the Naboo Starfighter N1 oh that's a cute card some of these are really cool I mean they're just scenes from the show Fennec Shand insert heroes and villains not numbered still cool mods scad and drash those mod guys were kind of weird they like weren't really the vibe. They're like colors and everything were kind of weird. This is when she gets blasted and he saves her. That's why Fennec Shand like serves Boba. It's because he saves her. Man, I can't believe we got our auto on a first pack. It's pretty cool though. Like I said, that guy is a producer. I'm almost 100% sure. I'll have to verify that. But I'm almost 100% sure that he is a producer at some point level and of some of the episodes might even be a director okay oh this part's so sad oh we got a grogu insert that's a cute little grogu insert grogu anything with grogu on it there's a blue parallel night of a thousand years this is when manda this is when the uh mandalore got destroyed and rampant and Basically, the Empire took over Mandalorian, the Mandalore uh, planet. First time we've seen Ahsoka on there. Okay, this box is so fun. I'm liking this a lot, guys. It's fun opening this, just bringing back all the memories from the show. Um, I usually just will probably stick to singles as far as Star Wars goes. Um, I love buying the singles because I just don't know where I'd store all this bulk. But... It's fun, you know, every now and then to open up something. See, like, this would be dope numbered, too. There's a blue parallel. And there's Boba Fett's Arsenal. Cool card. The Rancor. I don't think that's numbered. But very cool. And Scad and Drash. Mandalorian caught in the Rancor's grasp. And Scad keeping tabs on the pikes. Okay. So... We only got one concept art card out of that whole box. That's the box, guys. I mean, we got 
So we got all of these base cards. Oh, I actually put a blue in there on accident. So we got all those base cards, which are pretty cool. Um, these are our parallel um, colors. Let's look at them really quick. So we got SCAD and Drash, King of Youth Outside City Hall, Cad Bane, Vanquished. That's when he kills him. Pretty crazy. Um, Grogu's Past. Gift for Grogu, that's cute. Cad Bane, Return of Cad Bane. See, I need his auto. I will be hunting down his auto because I really want it. And then we got some inserts over here. No numbered inserts. I was hoping for a numbered insert as well. I think you just get one solid numbered card per hobby box. So, Boba Fett's Arsenal. Grogu insert, cute card. Fennec Shand. The Twins. And Garza, Garza Flip. And then one concept art card that was not numbered, which is cool. Love the concept art cards. Now this is so funny because I literally got this card, Grogu's Choice. I got this card in concept art, but it was out of 25. This one is out of 10. What a cool card. Learning the story of his father, Luke Skywalker has an acute knowledge of what can happen to a Jedi too attached to others. He knows that attachment can lead to the dark side. With the Mandalorian's gift, Luke Skywalker offers a gift of his own to Grogu in a choice. If Grogu wishes to follow the path of the Jedi, Luke will give his lightsaber that belonged to his master, Yoda. If he wants to abandon his training, he can take the gift of the Mandalorian. Grogu wants both, but which will he choose? Spoiler, he chooses the Mandalorian, because I personally think that it's called the Mandalorian because Grogu is going to be a Mandalorian. But that's just my theory. So, that's cool. I like that card. And then our auto of the box is Carson Tiva. Uh, no, sorry. Paul Soon Hyung Lee. I'm not sure if I said that right, but um, he's a really cool guy, really cool um, character in the show. He kind of plays like the basically High Republic um, patrol, and I'm pretty sure he is a producer. So go look that up. Paul Sung Young Lee as Carson Teva. Teva. Very cool. So those are our two big hits. I am not disappointed. Got an out of 10, so how could you be disappointed? Plus, that was just a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, go ahead and like this video and subscribe if you uh, enjoyed. And follow me on socials, um, Trev's Kingdom, and also on eBay. We are always doing some auctions, selling stuff, and just enjoying the community and having a good time. So... Thank you guys. Have a good night.